News 8's Diane Ako has the video you'll see only on 8. I'm at the Humane Society and this is the Wallaby. It's pretty tiny. It's actually quite scared and skittish from its adventures this morning. The Department of Land and Natural Resources is coming here to get it. Here's a closer look at this little guy. He's had a traumatic day. It started hours earlier on this normally quiet street in Foster Village. We came home and uh, my husband is trying to uh, go around and close up the, uh, sh you know, the garage and the shed and there he saw the kangaroo. Mr. Tabalanza told his wife to call police. It took her a few seconds to digest this information. I'm so surprised because kangaroo in here, in Hawaii, I mean, around the you know, neighborhood, I, I not, I'm shocked. A wallaby is a type of kangaroo. The animal was grazing here on the Tabalanza's grass. He ate the grasses. So. And I, my husband claimed that he ate the papaya trees. By now, police and Humane Society officers had arrived, and the neighbors came out to watch the excitement. So, how many men does it take to catch a wallaby? <laughs> Two and some good nets. And on the way to the cage, the wallaby was turning heads. The cop is taking a closer look, and the neighbors in the background ask for a photo. Just where did the wallaby come from? Probably it's from the local population. Um, how we got down here, I don't know. Nishioka is referring to the elusive wallaby colony in Kalihi Valley. They're very timid and shy. They, they try to stay away from the population. Various wallaby have been caught in years past, and one even took up residence at the zoo. But it's mostly hikers that see them. From here, the wallaby went to the Humane Society headquarters in Mo'ili'ili, where staffers read up on their first wallaby. They think he was someone's captive that got loose. He has a little uh, scrape on his head that looks like it was uh, not done within just recent days. So it's possible that he may have been caged somewhere before he was found in this, in this yard. The fate of the wallaby is still uncertain. Whether it will be returned to the wild or taken to a zoo remains to be decided by the DLNR. At the Humane Society, Diane Alco, News 8.